Hi guys, my name is Lori Shoup and I am an educator here at Salado Wildlife Education Center and we have a special treat for you today. We are going to be doing a bison feeding. So this is Andrea Dustin. She is one of our animal care technicians and she's going to be giving our bison some delicious fruits and vegetables today. Now bison, they are herbivores, that means they are plant eaters, and they do get grains and hay on a daily basis, but three times a week they are fed fruits and vegetables, all thanks to Kroger. So the Frankfurt Kroger has been graciously donating fruits and vegetables to us for over 20 years, and that helps us to feed not only our bison, but also our elk, turkey, deer, groundhog, and even our turtles. So a big shout out to Kroger. We currently have seven bison here at Salado. We have three adult females and we have one adult male, but we also have three bison that are a year old. You can see those are the smaller ones in there. And on top of that, we have three bison that we are expecting to be born any day now. Now young bison, they are referred to as red dogs. That's because when bison are born, they have reddish orange fur, and they're gonna have that for the first several months of their life before it turns brown. Now our young bison that we have are already a year old, so they've already got that brown fur. In the wild, bison will live to be about 20, they can live up to 25 years in captivity. Our adult male bison right now is 20, and our oldest adult female bison is 15. Now you may be wondering, Lori, why have you been saying bison and not buffalo this entire time? And that's because these guys are not actually buffalo. Buffalo is an animal that is native to Africa and Asia. And when Europeans came over to America, they mistook the bison for buffalo and the name stuck. Now in the 1500s, it was estimated that there were between 30 and 60 million bison in North America. However, due to unregulated hunting, by the 1800s, there were no more bison in Kentucky at all. And in 1884, there was only an estimated 325 bison left in the United States in the wild. Now with bison on the verge of extinction, the American Bison Society was formed in 1905 with the help of our conservationist president, Theodore Roosevelt. Now we have almost half a million bison living in North America due to our conservation efforts. However, the bison that you see today most likely are not purebred bison. They are bred with cattle. There's only a few purebred bison herds left in the United States. One of those being the bison herd that lives in Wyoming at the Yellowstone National Park. Now, one thing you may have heard of that bison do is that they take dust baths and they do our bison here. They tend to take at least one dust bath a day and that's called wallowing. And that's where they're gonna roll around in that dirt and dust. That's gonna help them to shed their fur, but it's also gonna help them um, to be keep, to, sorry, help them so that they don't get bitten by flies. Um, but we do something a little different with our bison here because we also spray them with fly spray and that's gonna help them keep from being bitten. Now you can look behind me and tell that these animals are absolutely massive. They can be six foot tall and they are the largest mammal in North America. The adult males, these are known as bulls, they can weigh upwards of 2,000 pounds. Now you'll also notice that even though I said we only have one adult male, they all have horns. That is because with bison, the males and the females have horns. You can see I am holding a bison horn right here. Now these are made of keratin, and unlike animals with antlers, they don't fall off. So they're gonna keep these year round, and they'll use these for butting each other in the heads and fighting. Now these guys, they're really beautiful animals, but they're not an animal that you wanna mess with. They have a lot of power behind them. They can run over 30 miles an hour and they can even jump and swim. Now we do quite a bit of public bison and elk feedings here at Salado. So once we fully open back up, make sure you get onto our website and look at our calendar of events where you can see all of our bison and elk feedings and trainings, keep up to date on those. And those are on the website fw.ky.gov on the Salado page. Now, if you have any questions about today's program or bison in Kentucky, feel free to leave a comment.